guys welcome back to the channel guys thank you very much for clicking this particular one today i am going to give you a video about something i can say the most requested on this channel because i always go through the comments i try as much as i can to reply i'm very very sorry if if there was a comment you put up and i failed to reply please my apologies but i always try my best to reply so guys i've seen through the comments and i've noticed there are a lot of um uh, requests yeah people have been requesting what they want to see on the channel like i always ask like i always ask so this particular video is about one thing that you people have requested me so much and i'm like why not i mean your wish is my command so here i am i am going to give you guys um an exclusive tour of a traditional african village house so guys right away this here is where i have been staying for the past i can say like a month now yeah uh so i've been staying here i only stay here with my aunt and the sip and the kids though right now they've got to play so guys right away let's go and you have a look of what the inside of our house looks like because she has been housing you i told you for like a month so i i can call this our home because if i'm not home i can come and stay here and no one has to look for me like it is my second home i can stay so guys right away come with me all right straight away let's start from here this is cassava this is real cassava guys um she makes a uh, local brewed alcohol as well if you watch my some video that i made some time back these are the materials we use for making so it is just under process as you can see the other one is a bit dry and then this is different but they're all cassava so it's just under process guys right let's go inside no before we go in right this here is a grinding stone yeah we use this for grinding either making uh paste out of ground nuts like I, I showed you guys sometime with the millet we also do for making uh flour out of the millet or sorghum or yeah something like that so basically it's just grinding guys and then right inside please come with me okay you are so much welcome inside so this right here is how the inside of our house looks like i am not sure if you have um if you're seeing it clearly it's a bit dark here unfortunately we have no lighting option here you only have to bear with me so right away let me start from this angle actually so these are just holes as you can see we do a lot of farming here i think you notice outside is full of gardens these are just holes we use for digging and then this right here um sorghum yeah we just harvested sorghum actually i think i'm going to give you a video of how we do harvesting sorghum as well yeah in my next in a few or next video to come so this is sorghum we have harvested already we keep taking them out to sun dry yeah so we just brought them back inside this is all sorghum these are all holes like i showed you and then what um all right this side this here is the kitchen section yeah if you can notice this is the kitchen so today we cooked cassava and we had it for lunch so this is just what remained out of it we covered it in the banana fiber just to give it some beautiful aroma this is how we do it um the i don't know there's a beautiful aroma that comes out of this thing when you cover either potatoes or cassava you cover you cook it and cover like that so that is just it guys so this right here is just a charcoal stove when we have charcoal we either use that one yeah this right here is what i'm meaning or alternatively when we want to cook uh, multiple things we also have this as our charcoal stove it is made out of mud though this is not portable it's stuck here you cannot remove it like this one here so that is just it this is just flour what you're seeing here is just flour in the top this is just flour what this is and then this right here is a firewood we put them up here so that the heat from down here is going to uh dry these ones so before we cook if it's in excess we come and stock some here because outside you know uh there's a lot of rain so this is just to keep it away from the rain and then if you notice this side of the roof is a bit dark yeah so it's because okay right here i don't even able to notice we used to have something here like another fireplace indoor one and so we used to cook from here and that is what made this place a bit dark like this but we shifted it outside we are going to go out and i show you that and then this right here this is where we keep our clothes for, uh, from this is like our closet there's another part i'm going to show you behind there and then my auntie sleeps here i don't know if you're able to see but my auntie sleeps right here that's her bed that's her net yeah 
already it's clear now and then for us we sleep here with the kids in just in the middle of the house here and then right here is also another kind of a closet yeah we stock our clothes also here yeah and then these bottles is what we use for selling the alcohol that we make i told you my auntie makes um local brewed alcohol so these are the bottles we use for selling and then we stock them here so this is just one of the numerals that we have for measurements yeah so there are some like this this is actually alcohol if you're able to see there is some alcohol here so all this is just the jerrycans and the buckets used for um for the alcohol for selling so basically i think that is it uh, uh then the floor we always don't do we always don't do cement eh? we just make it out of mud like this so we keep smearing it either with the cow dung or there's this black soil that we pick from the riverside or the water points so we always keep smearing it and that gives it that black color and then there is this particular thing you're probably wondering why we put a stick in the middle of our house like this it is not just <laughs> it is not just something which is useless it is of purpose here as you can notice um the roof is made with um some sticks and then of course grass is on top so this is a, a major support yeah this is a support for the roof not to fall I don't know if you guys, first of all, do you have grass patched houses in your cities or in your villages? If you do, do you guys also have these things in the middle like this? Because for us, we do this for support of the roof. So right? in case of anything, the roof they cannot fall and come back down because there is no major support in the middle. So this is the biggest support. And then, of course, this is just a partitioning between our place and then where my auntie sleeps. We give her a bit of privacy. Of course, she's big. So if she wants to maybe rest during the day, she can come and sleep with comfort. Meanwhile, we use this other part of the house for doing other things. And then what? Um, right here, your our door we make them okay. Most of the things here are um natural. Yeah, we pick them just from our surrounding here. So this wood actually we just um make them out of the trees around the compound. So there's a bigger brother of mine there's a bigger cousin of mine who made who makes who has a carpentry workshop so he makes this yeah so he, we pick the 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 wood pieces from his workshop and then we cut it in and make the loop so practically that is it if you're wondering what these things are this is just soap we stock them <laughs> we put them up like that that is just soap this is also soap which is still remaining we are going to use it later this right sorry this right here is just uh medicine it's just some painkiller we use it yeah so that is it guys is there anything i'm not showing you this here is just a comb for my aunt she has hair that can be combed if you notice my hair cannot be combed so i don't use this she uses this alone and then what else this is her phone she has gone out to check out her garden so she just left her phone here not to get lost maybe in the garden what more did i leave here there is this one here yes guys i wanted to show you this so this is um i don't know maize corn whatever you call it we call it maize in my language it's a nyogi uh first of all please let me know how you guys call it in your local language meanwhile we stuck it here because we are going to use this uh, as a seed yeah, for planting the next season so we keep it up here for it to keep dry because i told you we used to cook here down right here where i'm standing used to be a fireplace we've just removed it so the heat from here could get straight to the corn so that uh um pests eh, cannot infest inside so basically that you're wondering why we put it in the ceiling like this that is the reason it is up like that yeah and um, what more um i think that is it this is just for roasting food meat anything we roast using that wire mesh so guys thank you very much for watching that was it for the house too i guess um i hope i have fulfilled your wish because um like i told you it is one of the most requested video in this channel guys um and i surely had to bring it because I, like i told you i just cannot sit here knowing you guys are asking for something and i cannot put it on the table i don't feel comfortable so i think i am so i am so pleased i am so humbled that you've watched it to the end if you've watched it from the beginning till now i am so pleased i'm i'm very very grateful 
otherwise thank you very much for watching i hope you catch the next one as well if you're new here guys please make it a point please subscribe let's grow the channel let's grow it bigger and better you're surely going to have a great time with me here join the family please bye bye